this too. You make X's with your throws, and you keep... Okay, I'm Dave Finnegan, and uh, I've been teaching juggling in schools for 31 years, but now I've put together a program that combines juggling and climate change. It's a two-day program. Uh, day one of the program takes the kids through the step-by-step -step method that I've developed to learn how to juggle. By the end of day one, every kid knows how to juggle three scarves and keep them going. Keep going, right, left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> Juggling day we call personal empowerment or learning about yourself. You're working on both sides of your brain. So yes, it's brain food. Okay, any other reasons why you might think juggling would be an important skill to learn? Because it's fun! The number one Second day is, is all about the planet, taking care of the planet. We take the kids a group at a time, and everybody gets a piece of the climate change puzzle. And that's all. That's not much. But it makes a big difference when you're talking about something as big as the climate Earth. So, um, that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, so we're talking about personal health, and we're talking about planetary health. Uh, everybody who's in sixth grade, you are a tree. And I'd like you to go back to the back of the room, spread out, put your arms out, and uh, become a tree. Tree, what are you bringing in? And you guys got to feel what those critters feel like. A lot of people think that they can just talk to the kids and all the information will go in their ears and be processed by their brains and that it'll become part of what they do. But the way kids learn is kinesthetic and spatial and interpersonal and, and musical. They have to have total physical involvement in order to learn well. There's only one generation that's going to solve them, that's yours. If you don't solve them, the next generation isn't going to have a problem to solve. Their problem is going to be, how do we eat? How do we survive? The kids always respond tremendously. First, the kids get very excited about juggling. Then the second day when I come in, we're already friends, so I don't have to break the ice. I don't just give them the intellectual background on climate change. I let them become personally involved so that they get to become a tree frog or become a hurricane or become a polar bear or become a penguin. And they have so much fun getting involved that they almost forget that they're learning, but they do learn. Keep going. Hold on, Instant juggler, just add fun. Later in the day, we invite the parents to come in, and the kids and the parents work together on coming up with a family sustainability checklist to talk about how their family can work together to reduce their carbon footprint. Excellent. And we can do that, too. So that way things don't freeze. That's good. When the kids come home and start getting excited about this, the parents want to get involved. And the parents want to do what's right for their kids and what's right for the next generation. You're going to raise the temperature in the summer and lower the temperature in the winter. I started this program in 2007 because I realized that I had the skill set that was necessary to do this. In other words, I'd been in many, many schools and also I had the information that was necessary to bring forward to the kids. And I love the kids and I really know how to deal with them. But mom, mom. we've got to go back to school. What I want to do with this program in the future is take it to schools all over the country and hopefully outside the United States. I want to go from school to school myself, but I also want to train other people to go from school to school and to have them uh, take this message as far as we possibly can take it.